What's good everyone? Weavy is back with another video. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be going o uh, I'm going to be ranking the uh, trainers who uh, use flying type. Um, so we're talking about notable trainers such as gym leaders and uh, elite four members from the previous games or current ones. I say or current ones, but there aren't any current ones. Um, and yeah, um, keep in mind there are only four of them. Um, so that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so sitting at number four, we have uh, Kahili from um, Sun and Moon. Um, so coming in with some Gen 7. Um, so Kahili is ranked fourth um, as opposed to higher because from my research, uh, she actually possesses the least amount of Pokemon um, in terms of all of her teams combined. Uh, totaling only six Pokemon, um, six or seven, it looks like. Yeah, um, so in her original, uh, Sun and Moon team, she's got, uh, Skarmory, Crobat, Oricorio, um, Amanda Buzz and Tokanon. Um, and then uh, she takes out uh, Skarmory and Crobat um, for her Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon team to uh, utilize Bravery and uh, uh, Halucha. Which honestly isn't a bad team. Her team is not bad whatsoever. Um, but if there is one thing I could do to uh, make her team even better, I wouldn't have had Bravery. Um, and I would have thrown Halucha on with her original team. So have Skarmory, Crobat, Oricorio, Mandibuzz, and Tokanon, as well as Halucha. Um, making it a a six uh pokemon team um but honestly that's the only reason she's ranked this lowly also i don't really know a whole lot about um kahili um as well i've I've briefly played uh, Sun and Moon, um, so I didn't actually get to the Elite Four, so I have no idea what she's capable of uh, or how difficult she was to fight. Um, but that being said, let's move on. All right, sitting at number three, we've got uh, Skyla from uh, Black and White. A little gen 5 um so she's ranked above uh kahili mostly because uh she actually possesses almost enough pokemon throughout all of her teams to uh make two different uh teams um, so it's actually one and a half teams total. Um, she uh, utilizes nine total Pokemon throughout all of her teams. Um, and like one Pokemon just continues to be on the team. Uh, that's Swana, which is a water flying type. Um, but most of the other teams, um, actually I was wrong. She actually possesses 10 
at, looking at it again, she possesses 10. Um, so her original team is Swoobat, Unpheasant, and Swana. And that's in black and white. Um, and then in black and white too, she swaps out Unpheasant um, for um, Skarmory. Uh, putting her at four, and then um, her cha in challenge mode, she adds Sigalith, putting her at five. Um, and then um, in the Innova Leaders Tournament, um, she has the team of Swana, Unpheasant, Swoobat, Archaeops, Bravari, and Mandibuzz. which puts her at like eight um and then for the expert world leaders mix master tournament she swaps out unpheasant and swoobat for uh jumpluff and driftblim uh putting her at 10 which is three pokemon more than kahili um but just like Kahili, I I've played a little bit of Black and White, um, but I never got to her, um, so I have no idea what she's actually capable of. Um, yeah. Uh, that being said, uh, it's time to move on. All right, sitting at number three is uh, Winoa from Gen 3. Um, and Winoa actually was really rough. Um, if I remember correctly. Um, because she's got like several different uh, types other than flying on her team. Um, so we'll go off of Emerald. Um, so Emerald, she actually has five Pokemon. Uh, she starts off with a Swablu, um, but she also has a Tropius, a Pelipper, a Skarmory, and an Altaria. Um, for the initial battle. But then you have several rematches you could do. Uh, first rematch, uh, she swaps out her Altaria for a Dratini. And then her second rematch, she also, she gains a Hoot Hoot and evolves her Dragonair. I mean, Dra a Dratini into a Dragonair. Um, and then third rematch, she evolves Hoot Hoot. Um, and then fourth rematch, she evolves uh, Dragonair. Um... But, and then... Um, she also shows up in black and white too, um, with instead of her normal team, um, she swaps out, uh, Hoot Hoot for Swellow and Dragonite for Honchcrow. Um, and then you have the World Leaders Tournament, um, and for this one, uh, she swaps out, uh, her Swellow and her Pelipper for Gyarados and Sigilyph, uh, putting her at about the same as, uh, Skyla in terms of, uh, Pokemon, um, but she's mostly this highly ranked because I did um, actually go versus her in both uh, Ruby and Emerald um, and she was a very tough opponent um, so it's mostly nostalgia she's ranked higher than Skyla than the actual Pokemon themselves um, but the Pokemon does the Pokemon helps a lot um, but that being said 
Um, I think it's time to move on. All right, sitting at my number one spot, I have Falconer. Um, so the only reason I gave number one to him literally is because of nostalgia. I grew up with the Gen 2 games as well as Gen 1. Um, so uh, Falconer is purely uh, nostalgia. Um, I do like his Pokemon, and he was a tough customer if you had the wrong Pokemon with you. Um, but that being said, um, mostly nostalgia. Um, so he's the first gym um, from Gen 2. Uh, he has a Pidgeot and a Pidgey. Um, Pidgeot sitting at level 9 and Pidgey sitting at like level 6 or some shit. Um, and yeah, uh, he was really tough because he has a Pidgeot at level 9, which uh, made it tough. Um, because P Pidgeot was the strongest thing you've seen since then. Uh, it strongest thing you've seen up till that point uh the only thing that came close was maybe like a uh butterfree or a bee drill um but other than that you couldn't get any um second or third evolutions that early on um to counter that um yeah that being said that's about it for this video i just wanted to go through and talk to you guys about this um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, remember if you like this content, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you agree with this list, let me know if you think, uh, the list should have been a little bit different. Also, let me know. But yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll see y'all later.